Our KTN News has obtained a series of memos sent by Akombe to the IEBC chairman Wafula Chabukati weeks prior to today's events raising concerns about a lack of preparedness by the commission for the October 26th repeat election. And as our Timothy Otieno now reports, the memos reveal a much deeper rift among the commissioners tasked with refereeing round two of the presidential poll. She has now become the eye of the storm surrounding the electoral body, which has just seven days to prepare for a repeat poll that is increasingly becoming riddled in a political quagmire. Barely less than 24 hours since Rosalind Nakombe threw in the towel, citing a lack of commitment by her peers to conduct a credible poll next week, KTN News has exclusively obtained damning memos sent by the now former commissioner to the IEBC chair Wafula Chebukati. In a memo dated 9th October 2017 titled Planning for the Fresh Presidential Election, Akombe raises a variety of issues with the commission that at the time she felt were contributing as a tumbling block for a credible poll. In the memo, Akombe raises concern that four commissioners at the IEBC are voting on decisions as a block without much thought to the processes and issues at hand. Case in point, she highlights the need to cross-check the register of voters, both electronically and biometrically, to eliminate the threat of having numerous dead voters within the register, a decision that was ignored by a majority of the commissioners. It is unfortunate that knowing the possibility of high numbers of diseased voters in the register, we could still open a potential avenue for irregularities and fraud, she mentions. She also highlights that the project team, handpicked by the commission chair, had had its wings clipped with decisions eventually coming from the secretariat. Is this an orchestrated move to ensure that all decisions are controlled by the secretariat and a majority vote in plenary, Akombe asks in the memo. The four-paged document reveals deep-seated antagonism within the commission, with Akombe highlighting an instance during the commission's meeting where she was threatened with violence for issuing a dissenting opinion. Intimidation continues to the boardroom, she says, with even one commissioner threatening to go physical against me on the 18th of September plenary. Could one still talk of a conducive environment for free, fair, and credible elections? Another memo dated 16th October, just a day before she resigned, raises queries of lack of a commitment by the commission to protect IEBC agents in certain areas where violence has been mated against them. The series of unanswered memos, perhaps the reason the commissioner decided to quit just seven days to the set election date. And with the threats targeted against Akombe and her family, whether or not the said memos will help or hurt the commission as Kenyans head to the ballot next week Thursday will be determined in the next few days. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.